a blue agave and cacao this is the luxury dupe scent by Hudson Holmes. Um, they actually dupe Jill Malone. And this is an actual scent by Jill Malone. And I do own the travel perfume. And I love it. I just have a thing for blue agave. So I just scraped this maybe not even a minute ago. So as we can see off top, the wick started off tall and they teal over. These are like HTPs do that. We talked about that. But nonetheless, we y'all also was on, if y'all was on live on IG, y'all saw me and Kim went live because these are some half full jars. But nonetheless, I bought, I bought the billet, bit the bullet and got one, right? And after some concerns and talking to the managers at the store, they're going to let the manufacturers know. Maybe they'll slash the price from $4.99. Maybe we don't know. But I definitely, definitely wanted this one for a review purpose. So you have blue agave, which is a real sugary, real sweet um, vibe. And then you have cacao. Not to be confused with chocolate. Cacao is like the cocoa nibs that chocolate is made out of. And chocolate off top is not sweet. That's why you have like bittersweet, semi-sweet. You have to sweeten it. But cacao is going to be like a natural ingredient. So this should give me like a sweet, earthy vibe. Nonetheless, I just scratched her. We gonna see if she's giving what it's supposed to get. Okay, I am checking in two hours into the burn, y'all. <laughs> mm, look what's going on. It's the wig placement. It hasn't hit a full milk pool in two hours. But, 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 I ain't ready to wrap up the review yet. It's only been two hours. We'll be back. Well, but I'm let me show y'all this. My love for blue agave is real. Remember this? I'm on my last bottle of this and I have four. Blue agave is really sweet, y'all. So really sweet times a earthiness cacao is my expectation for inspection. Lord, I can't talk. My expectation for this candle. I want earthy sweet. What am I getting so far? Well, come back when I wrap it up. Okay. If at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. Y'all, the wig placement is saying, right? I'm not, I'm not, this has been four to five hours. Yeah. So the good news is I have to go over near that Aldi to pick up my neighbor from work. The other Aldi, I have my receipt. I'm going to exchange it and we going to try again. Stay tuned. So we're back with day two, you know, life insurance ready to pull the plug. Uh, life support is here. And uh, the life support breathes some life into blue agave cacao, which the blue agave is a sweetness, the earthiness of the cacao. For us to keep her on the machine a little while longer, the answer is going to be no. This candle's giving me nothing. It's serving me nothing. It's serving me nothing like the cologne. Uh, normally, these are spot on. But I'm going to say we're going to chalk this up to the pour issue. Uh, you know, how the candles were poured. Um, seeing us. Some people said their last rounds were half full like this. And I clearly showed you out to where some where mine was not, right? So we got an inconsistency. On top of that, the wicks were poor. They're very poor. Uh, Y'all know this is the one that I went in exchange for. And after two days of battling, it shouldn't take all of this uh, to battle life until a candle. So I'm done with it. Uh, it's, it's serving me nothing and I'm at it the $4.99 kind of glad I followed my first not mine and didn't go hard something else I wanted to point out to you all speaking to the manager at Aldi Huntington Home is not a parent brand of Aldi this is a private brand that Aldi carry and the more candles sit the stores may get marked down money so right now, they're not going to be marked down. They're just there. Uh, won't be a repurchase from me. In fact, I don't think I'll go back and repurchase any of them except the luxury box one. So that's my take on that. And I'm going to shut off my warmer because this is a waste of my damn light. Bye, y'all.